Hey, Orange One here with Silas. Uh, we have him here at this way station. Um, I was basically, from what I remember, um, trying to figure out who we had in here. Um, there is, I don't know if you can still see him or not. No, it doesn't look like you can. There was a UC pacifier in here. Uh, and we do have kind of a disguise for the, being a tech hunter. I don't know if I... I think this is me, actually, the first time I'm showing this off, so... We do have a little disguise here. I think those dudes were trying to attack us. But then they stopped when they saw that we were, uh... I, I don't know where to see it on here, but I think we are disguised right now. Pretty sure. I do have a hard time with that, like knowing exactly when you have a disguise on or not. I think it usually shows up here where it says normal, isn't that it? In any case, uh, we got these hungry bandits attacking the ninja guards. Not gonna go well, <laughs> let's just say that. Oh dude, you got, you got some nice stats there. Do I want to get Silas fighting someone? It is possible that we could just, I don't know, hit someone. Oh, dude, that guy's got, like, attack of 70. But yeah, that's definitely not happening. Yeah, I really would like to get the factions to not be hostile to me anymore. But I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. So you could go back to that bar that's in Shark, and we'll see what to do there. So yeah, let's see. It's been a while since I've actually been recording, so I'm trying to just figure th what out what I was doing. From what I remember we were. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were getting our little base set up here. Okay, that does seem vaguely familiar. I don't know how much I showed off this to y'all though, because we ended up settling over here. And sorry if I uh, am repeating myself here, but like we ended up selling over here because we got some pretty good resources around here. Like check this out, we got water, very high fertility, stone, we've got some iron and some copper. All right here. So this is going to be a nice little place. And it's super close to the Black Desert City, like it's a... Uh... I mean you could theoretically put something right there and that'd be closer or like maybe right there. But it's a... Uh, I'm pretty happy with what we got here. Um, I was thinking of having Red Main where they were as a, a base. Let me just show you that really quick. I'm pretty sure that I wanted to throw this stuff off. Yeah, pretty good fertility, stone, copper, all that, but the water is pretty low. So just basically because of that water, I'm not going to do a base right here. The Red Main will, will join back up with the party. But you know, there's there's a couple options for our little outpost here. Um, while people are working on the mine, let's just kind of see what's the process. That needs more iron plates. Oh right, we we're gonna fight some of the um, wildlife, not life, wild robots, wild um, artificials. I'm not really sure what to to call them. But we're going to try and find some iron spiders around here, and we're going to smash them. I think that that should be a good local way of getting iron, don't you? I mean, Igor, I probably shouldn't be sending out by yourself. Why don't you bring Pet with you? And while we have the opportunity, let's see if we can recruit anyone. We'll have Blake Dulanos as our patron. Our only Patreon. Oh, did we have everyone recruited here? Have I cleared out the cages? Nice. That's a that's a good problem to have. Okay, well, let's see if we can get a... Uh, a Fogman, then. Because I'm pretty sure I've got Fogman. Yep. Fog Heavy that's about to starve. Yeah, I'd rather have the Princes. Go for that Prince. They look pretty hungry. Just make sure they're looted. Yep. Okay, go ahead, talk to them. 
One, two, nope, that did not work. Okay, well, I tried. Um, yeah, so I mean, we really should be setting out a bigger party, but I don't want to have people get hurt right here. It'd be really nice if the Iron Spires would come to us, but I don't think that's going to happen, so we'll come to them. It's fine. Um, I did want to... Sorry, I did want to go back here for a second just to see what the research is like and what our tech is, like the, our stockpile technology. Uh, AI, rice... Um, oh, we could also do hydroponic wheat straw. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. There's not really any real need for that. Or any of those. Um... To get faster steel bars. I really feel like all of this is like a waste of my ancient science books. And we can just like scale up our industry if we want to. Um, advanced first aid kits and weapon grades, those both sound like good things. So I'll get both of them. We had the books. Um these are all ancient science books stuff. Okay. Yeah, we'll hold, we'll do that for now. Okay, let's see. What were we doing? Igor, you were going to go hunting. Hunting for some of these guys right here. And we could just go to the ruins. Because I can guarantee at some of these outposts there's going to be some uh, spiders hanging around there. Uh, what's chasing you, Redmain? Oh, perfect. You know what, Redmain? Just hang out for a minute. Igor's gonna come to you. And then we'll take this dude out. Hopefully. And their attack is only 30-something. If they hit, though, they, they do a lot of damage. But I think that Igor should hit fast. Like, Igor's Alpha Strike's pretty, pretty good now that he's got the... Um, the two arms and the boosted strength. I mean, he actually has, uh, his attack actually is not 100. I'm not surprised by that. And the gear, yeah, his gear is not masterwork. We need to get you some masterwork gear there, my friend. I feel bad about that. Put pet down. Of course, I bet this thing ends up attacking Pet. Um, Red main, just <clears throat> loop around the back, and Pet, same, same deal. Oh, never mind. Igor's got it. Very nice. Okay, so we got two iron plates. I bet that this is enough to get our industry started. Um, one more. Might as well take that. Yeah, I think that we're good to go then. Just come back to the outpost. I bet it, you're fine. And does this get your toughness higher? I feel like it does. Because, yeah, it's definitely not a place for humans. I would agree with that uh, wholeheartedly, Pet. Okay. Yeah, rain feels nice. That better be sarcastic. <laughs> um, what do I want to do right now? You know? Trying to, trying to figure that out. Uh, oh, we could, yeah, we could look at the gardens and uh, see how that's going. I kind of am curious about uh, our robotics industry. I think I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, you're carrying a ton of motors. That's kind of weird. Oh, our storage is full. That's going to be a problem, because then you're not going to craft. So we need another storage robotics. Um, storage. Robotics. Yeah. That's a good problem. Our people got too efficient. That's hivers for you. Too efficient. Too OP. Um... Where is the expert? Yeah. Oh, look at you. You're still working. 
Very nice. Okay, get that specialist right leg in there. And then I'm not really sure what I want to do next. Um, but, oh yeah, we were going to check on the gardens. Right? Our little uh, garden thing up here. Where are the farmers? I feel like... Yeah, you, you don't have things actually assigned to you, which is kind of weird. Southern Hydro Farmer. You also need a left arm, which I'm pretty sure we don't have. Yeah, it's a right arm. Okay, yeah. I had a feeling that we didn't have it, because then I probably would have put it on you when we recruited you. Because, yeah, you got decent gear. So I did take care of you, kind of. You are hungry, though. We do need to produce a little bit more. But once we get that rice weed going, and that's like really taking off, we're gonna have tons of food. Like, honestly. Like, all of this is doing pretty nice. All of it's... Um, not all of it has water. If we could have you work on getting water for those things, that'd be really nice. Um... Do we just not produce enough water right now? That might be what's going on. I think that's what's going on. Yeah. Okay, well. Farming. Well. Is a fair amount of our resources. Man, we, we've got this little, like, column of water that we're, we're getting. I kind of like it. It's unusable space otherwise, so... Might as well. We don't have any iron plates saved up, which is kind of weird, but we have tons of building materials. Um, how is that thing? Oh, that needs to get upgraded. And we could actually just send someone to go build some stuff and get those iron plates. I think I was thinking about doing that um, recently and then decided against it. Silas, uh, yeah, I would like you at Shark. Not just standing out in a field where you're going to get, like, owned, you know? I also need to use y'all, and where's Trill? Is that Trill wanted to be a bodyguard for Silas. Um, might be a little bit of a while, just giving you a, a fair warning. I don't think that's going to happen particularly soon. Oh, we got, we got some cacti. Uh, upgrade. I know that you guys want to cook with that, but, uh... We need to grow more stuff here if we're going to be able to survive out here. And we we have enough of that foul meat, I think, to be okay, but... Yeah. Um, so these are our soldiers, but our soldiers are kind of split. Yeah, our soldiers are totally split between the two bases. I think they were getting food. It sounds familiar. How's this going now? Um, Igor and other people are back. So this should be... Yeah, this will get up and up and running. Get those iron plates in there. Get that stone processor going. Get more building materials. We'll have a little base, I think. Uh, maybe by the end of the episode. I'm not sure, but... It's possible. Come on, somebody's gotta have materials. There we go. That's got the necessary materials. Okay. The manual stone processor, I thought that's what we had. Is it upgraded? No. Okay, um, looks like we need more iron plates. <laughs> Igor and Pet. I think just the two of you have this. Let's go back into the Deadlands and we'll, we'll see what we can find. I'm very confident about Igor's ability in that last performance. I'm essentially also just bringing Pet just in case um, Igor gets locked in like a damage um, stun. Or what is it called? Stun lock. I know video game terms. It's so weird how, like, there's, like, things like that where, like, 
I know what it means, but if I talk to like non-gamers, they're gonna just have no idea what I'm talking about, like stun locking. I mean, I suppose you could figure it out, but there's things like kiting and and whatnot that people use, and it's just like kind of interesting thinking about the human uh, tendency for towards that for making these um, kind of in groups with knowledge about certain things and certain words. Okay, so we got upgraded weapon quality. Uh, we're going to go back to here then. I don't know. It's... Yeah, Stickman's our, our weapons expert. I haven't even looked at what you've been crafting for a long time. Yeah, Mark 1's. We're done with that. Um, we're going to do Mark 3's. Um... I think we want to do the katana, not the wakazashi, because we can start carrying some heavier weapons and we're fine. Um, I think I want to do the naganata in Mark Three. Yeah, let's do that. And how's our storage going? We got tons of storage space, so it should be fine, right? Yeah, he's a. Uh, getting materials okay very cool well while we're here might as well try again nice okay so we got um this is um anthill motorist 2 i believe right we'll get them out of there And what we really want to do is get a robotic limb on you, which I think we have them over here somewhere. Yeah. We'll just give you anything, honestly, right now. Masterwork stealth leg. Let's give you just a masterwork regular leg. I know it's total waste, but um, I'm not messing around. This dude's going to be, I can tell already, very important. Yep, masterwork for sure. Give you that too. Um, unless there's masterwork in here. Somewhere else. Nope. Okay. Take that. And it looks to me like we don't have any of the main mail. It's a huge shame because I really don't want you dying. But I think with your other armor you'll be okay. Okay, we'll do like that for now. That should be good. I want you to come over here. And I'm just going to assign you essentially everything. Like if you can work there, I, I would like you working there. And Silas, don't. No. Don't get hit by these things. Yeah, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Okay, you're good. I think. Unless you do some weird pathfinding, which it looks like you are. Yeah, don't go swimming next to the blood spiders. Could not end well. Let's just say that. I'm sorry that I got totally sidetracked from um, attacking Narco's um, base to like building that thing, but I think... I could be wrong, but I think that we're gonna lose a lot of people attacking Narco's base, and if, in case we do, I want to just set that up um, at Black Desert City so that we can have a hermit up there um, doing some trading. And and once I do, I'd be willing to lose more people. But you know, hearing that uh, Bannerlord is gonna come out on March 31st, I figured, well, I've got a decent amount of time until then. You know. Oh look, a hiver that we can recruit. Um, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, join me, growth mindset, as they say. I'm a, I'm a teacher. We embrace failures. 
Well, um... Yeah. You deserve better. Yep. That's, that's actually a really good deal for a recruit. That's awesome. I will, I will definitely take it. We got ourselves a recruit. That's, that by itself to me seems like it's worth coming up here for. Um, there is also the chance of finding a pacifier. Or was that, no, that's in the, um, the gambling one, right? This guy over here, I think. Yeah, the black shifts, I'm pretty sure is where, uh, we've seen those pacifists, uh, before. Pacifiers, not pacifists. No one is a pacifist in this world. I think I made that joke before, huh? Um... Yeah, just some bar thugs. Okay, well that's a shame. And this is like a headquarter, isn't it? Um, I might just keep Silas in here for now. I think this is a business that's open 24-7. I might just close the doors though, in case there is, um... Blood spiders. And that way I don't think we'll get attacked. Never mind, these guys are gonna open the door. So much for, uh... For that Holy Nation pacifier, see what I mean? I feel like that's the uh, dude that was here last time though. I don't know if he's game changed out or not. Uh, what about you? You're double. Okay. Um... Igor, pet, any, uh, any spiders roaming around? <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you make your way up here, yeah? See what else we can find. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Just a bunch of nothing in the Deadlands. It's appropriate, though. Just keep you running, running up. I know that there's a group, and I'm pretty sure this outpost down here... So we could go there, but then I think there's like six of them, and they're all gonna like attack at once, which is gonna be a problem, to say the least. That's not the worst of problems. I do feel like um, I need to go back to the um, Fort Monroe or the Copper Mine and check on the food production. But maybe that's uh let's just get ourselves an iron spider. One more. I think we need nine more bits of iron plating. Oh pet, you you still have three. Ah. Come on. What am I doing? Sending us out to die and you already have the stuff that we're looking for. Oh, you're actually super hurt. I should probably just bring you back to the outpost. Yeah, I'm not looking at fighting with you having 70 something health. The bad idea. Uh, so that's being produced. Nishi. You're still working that, aren't you? Yeah, it's gonna be a little while before we got our first hut, but I think we might just go for like a tiny little thing. Just because I think um, Pet needs somewhere to get out of the, uh, the acid rain. And we could also build like a little tent if we got some fabric. That is also an option for us. Got a lot of options, let's just say that. Um, ba ba ba. Where was, what was I doing? I was gonna go to, yes, Fort Monroe. That's what I was gonna do, the food, food production. Hydro Farmer, three. You're the one that I just gave like that super leg to, I think. Or maybe not, no, it was, maybe it was you or you. I also want these on your list of things to take care of. Hydroponic vegetables. Those are all hydroponic vegetables. Okay. Let's get hydroponic, um... 
rice wheat as well in production. We're going to do that on the roof here. I didn't... Can you actually hydroponically grow rice? Like, is that actually a thing? Do people do that? I feel like they do. But I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Um, yeah, the tech is pretty much good. Advanced medicine. So, right here. Nope, we're not doing that anymore. We'll do like that. That should be pretty good. I'm excited we'll have some good first aid kits. People aren't going to just randomly die on us. <laughs> It'll be good. Oh man, so, um... What was I going to say? Oh no. Oh yeah, so... <laughs> I wanted to tell you all about this. It's kind of hard for me to tell you some stories because I don't want to like give any too much away. Or like, you know, confidentiality and all that stuff. But there was a crazy thing that I... I was, I've been reflecting on it a little bit because one of my students um, cheated on a test. I know, right? But they're so bad about it, you know? Like, especially the sixth graders, they'll do things like the two friends sit next to each other turning the test at the exact same time. It's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, I wasn't even really looking for people cheating. And then I, I stopped and was like, this is a little weird, you know? People do some really dumb things like that all the time. Uh, so we got the three there. I think we're going to need to leave Pet here. And then maybe you can take um, Arnold. Let's take Arnold. I think Arnold is actually named after uh, a viewer, so we'll bring you with us. Or maybe Arnold wasn't. You were like Benedict Arnold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Whoops. I don't have any named people with me on my expedition going to uh, Narco's uh, trap, which is a mistake. Is this skeleton drumming? Is this the music of the skellies? I feel like it might be. Um, Silas, I'm gonna just leave you there. I honestly don't know what to do. I just... Oh! Look, here we go. I was just gonna say with Silas, I'm not sure what to do with him. Um, because I do want a pacifist as soon as possible, so I think I'm just gonna leave him in a bar. And hope for the best. Oh, Igor almost got hit there. Okay. How about Arnold? There we go. Very nice. Two of you should be able to come back. I'm just going to let you run at your own pace. We should be able to upgrade our thing that's uh, making more iron plates for us, yeah? We're going to let you go at your own pace. Arnold's the one that's slow. Okay. Well, Igor will start the construction, and there's like the nice thing about being in this biome is there's like not very many enemies, you know. So we can kind of go through things in relative peace compared to other parts of the map. Is is what I mean by peace, you know. Um. So we have, I think, our six now. I'm gonna try upgrading this. Because we should have um, those iron plates sort of laying around. And with Arnold's iron plates, I think that's enough to upgrade this all the way. And then if I just leave that be and let people work it, before you know it, we'll, uh, we'll be set up. You know? Things will be just dandy. The, uh, the little American in my mind says. But yeah, it's interesting with the cheating thing because... Um, like, everyone's cheated, let's be real. In varying degrees, but like, everyone's done it. But it's it's one of those things where it's like... Okay. You gotta figure out what's the risk here, and what's possibly gonna happen. Like, I had a friend in college who she, um... She 
got no credit for the classes she took for that, um, I think semester. It might have been quarter or semester, I'm not sure. I think it was semester. She got no credit for any of the classes, and she still had to pay. So it's like you just essentially paid thousands of dollars worth um, in a fine is, you know, in effect what happened. Because, yeah, you, you don't get that money back, and the school's like, huh, you don't get education or credit for that either, you know? And so it can, that's why I try and, and teach the students is like, hey, like, is this really worth it? What's what's going to happen if if you, you get caught? Like, you got to think about those things. Like, I'm not encouraging them to cheat. It's more of a think about the consequences before you act. Like, your brain isn't fully developed. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. Kids. Okay, they're just running, gunning the turrets, it looks like. Maybe not. Um, the armor is getting involved. Hug explode okay all right well we'll start the next episode with smashing these guys uh thank you for joining me this has been orange one